So we got an update on the Archery Shack strings that we had put on yesterday. So this right here is the end result. We couldn't film a video yesterday afternoon because it was raining outside and pretty good storm come through, but we're good now. So this is the, uh, this is the V3 Matthews. Got rid of the stock strings that come on it. Um, my serving started to separate where my string stops is or where my string stops hit on my other strings, which I think we got that in a video. But I went with the all white on the ambush green. Boy, she's clean. Turned out very nice. <sighs> looks looks great. Also, that creaking noise that everybody was talking about in all the other videos. Yes, so explain that. Yeah. So if you didn't see the video, over the last couple weeks started getting a real loud creaking and almost dragging noise, and it sounded a lot like a bearing. We took it apart and we greased the actual pins that run through and seems like everything went away. Way smoother on the draw. No creaking and popping whenever you draw it. So it, it sounds a lot better. So I guess that's all it was. How's the draw now? And the draw is a lot smoother. I don't and that's, know if that's the strings did. probably too. Yes. I'm I'm not sure if they didn't grease it good from the factory or what. I do have a lot of shots through this bow and being just a couple months old. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see how it shoots. 20 yards. Yeah. She's cooking out there. Uh, yeah, I moved my side. I might have moved a little bit too much. Ooh, boy, she's sitting in a group, son. You might be a little high on that group, but you are shooting a group, which is good. We'll just fine tune it here in a minute. You want to adjust your sights right quick? Yeah. Okay. I didn't have a large red bull this morning. So. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not bad. No, no, that's good. Even though you did pull one, that happens. Group he shot before was almost Robin Hood and Harris. So, got to give a shout out to the Archery Shack for the in-house built custom strings. They do their own strings. and They spit them out too, man. They are pre-stretched, ready to roll, and these things are beautiful. And they're really good guys. They done. Do you remember what material that was on these? I can't remember what I it think was. he said it in the first video. Yeah. But... I was really nervous putting this thing together. I didn't think that he was going to let us do it. Yeah, that was, <laughs> was nerve-wracking. Very good learning opportunity. <laughs> kind of show us how to tear down our own bow, and that was that was awesome. But if you do want to know a good color to go on the ambush green, the all white. And it kind of does beautiful. blend in with the wood just a little bit. So if I stand back. I get high enough in a tree. I ain't worried about it. Yeah, that's true. 
but this is really not my target bow setup so no i i got everything set up on this bow shooting 250 spine x impact is shooting the stainless steel outsert 30 grains of brass and 100 grain point that way i could get broadheads easier because 125 seemed to be a problem or was last year you want to talk about your target setup that i hooked you up with yesterday yeah so this bow here <clears throat> most targets i shoot all the way to the fletching and i've been ruining just about every time i have to shoot i have to redo fletching because this thing just punches through about everything but that was what i set this bow up for was if i hit a shoulder bone i want to go completely through both shoulder bones without any problem now i got a target bow so my brother gave me a evo yesterday hey so i'm gonna set it up for target shooting because this it gets too aggravating doing fletching every day and i just need a nice forgiving bow for every day of just shooting this is 100 percent set up for just hunting that's <laughs> it is I am going to end up changing out the city. How many pounds is this thing? Well, it was pulling 74 until we greased everything. Now we're back at 70, about 71. Nice. Which is perfect. And it's a whole lot smoother. It was, I'm, I'm not sure if that was something from Matthews where they just didn't grease it right or what, but. She's quiet now. It's very quiet now. Very smooth. It looked like the barons were in good shape. I kind of checked them, and I didn't feel any anything rough. So, what would you say about the sight, man? I cut you off. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna probably throw the CBE and set up the Evo for a 3D shoot bow. That way, I have three fixed pins, and I'll magnify this because it does have the option to put a lens in. Oh yeah, cheap, sixty bucks. <clears throat> So I'll end up more than likely putting a spot hog five pin. That way I have a movable, but I do have five fixed pins. It's a deer hunt, but I also do plan on doing some elk and some other stuff with this bow in the near, near future. So. Nice. We'll see if I... All right, you moved your pins. Yeah. smoke show right in the black dead right on top of the other You just slapped the piss out of an area if you didn't. Yeah, we'll Let's go check that out. I'm only gonna shoot three because these arrows are way too expensive to be busting them. I'll say that it looks like your bow's shooting a lot better with them new strings. So that's, God, stuffing them in there, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. That's all in the money ring too. Yep. So yeah, she'll kill. Yeah, let's get a couple of slow motions uh, with that thing. Let the people see how she looks in slow-mo. Boy, that thing buries them deep. Dude, let's see if it went all the way through. Almost. Yeah. Well, and that's, this one, is, that's about a foot and a half of bale. This, yeah, this bale hasn't been shot yet, so it's... Still gooten tight. It would be but a couple of couple of rounds and I'll be punching through it. If you shoot the bottom one, I go completely through the thing. Yeah, I, hell, I shoot <clears throat> straight through that one. Yeah. All right, let's shoot a couple of slow motion videos. Yes.